Hi everybody, I hope the last video on the summary of what I'm going to teach in this video series on the Hindu religion has blessed you greatly now that you have learned something new. This video is going to be special because it is a personal story of my maternal grandfather. Let me first explain what happened and later whether it is actually in line with the Hindu scriptures or not. So let us not waste any more time and let us get into the video. My name is Andy and you're watching Gospel in Action. In this channel, I strive to teach all about the Bible, the prophecies and Hinduism from a Christian perspective. The only thing I would ask you is to kindly watch two or three videos from this channel you will automatically subscribe. I mentioned in the last video that my grandfather claimed to have seen God. So did he really see God? I absolutely doubt it because as a former Hindu, even I have seen plenty of dreams like those. If you have observed in your own life, dreams are usually the same things you usually think about, right? For example, if you miss someone very badly, there is a high chance that that person might appear in your dream. So it is possible that my grandfather's subconscious mind knew that he would pass away very soon because of an undiagnosed health condition. So it could have hinted him to be prepared for death by presenting him something that he believed in strongly. Or it could have been an evil spirit deceiving him. Let us talk about this possibility in the next video. Anything could have happened. All these are speculations only at this time. But I can confidently say that my grandfather did not see God because as I said, a belief that one can see God is not in the Hindu scriptures, period. However, many Hindus believe in God appearances, but all those beliefs are baseless and blind because it is simply not in their scriptures or those beliefs are based on mythological stories but not on their root scriptures, the Vedas or even Bhagavad Gita for that matter. So it could be possible that my grandfather's subconscious mind gave a form to his conscious mind and allowed it to talk to him in that dream. I can say that because according to his belief system, his conscience is his God, as I said in the last video. And even in the dream, the figure he saw asked him three times, did you recognize me? Who am I? Can you look closely? His first response was that he did not recognize that form at all. After that, he replied saying, yes, it is myself in his second response. And his last response was Parabrahma Swarupam, meaning the form of the Brahman, which is an oxymoron because as I said in the original Hinduism series, Brahman cannot have a form as it is only the expanse where the universe exists. So yes, my maternal grandfather had a dream or a vision the night before he passed away. I'm not making this up. For more clarity, let me give you a full account of what happened. I will first explain that dream my grandfather had and later examine whether his claims were in line with the Hindu scriptures or not. Here is the dream or vision as they call it. In his letter about it, he did not address it as a dream but as a sushupti, meaning a deep sleep consciousness. I would personally like to call it a dream in all my further references because in my understanding so far, there is nothing like a deep sleep consciousness. So in a dream, he saw a person. This person wakes my grandfather from sleep and asks him, do you know who I am? My grandfather replied, no, I don't know. I don't recognize you. Then the person asks him again, look closely. You know who I am. My grandfather looks closely and finally recognizes this person. He replied saying, you are myself. He calls the person an embodiment of himself. In Christian terms, he recognizes the person as a glorified form of himself. Even now, the person in the dream seemed dissatisfied with his answer. The person asked again, look even more closely. 
I know that you can recognize me. My grandfather looks at him even more closely and becomes bewildered. He now recognizes and replied, you are Parabrahma Swarupam, that is an embodiment of the Brahman. We learned all about Brahman in my previous videos, right? I will post the links to those videos in the description as well. The person in the dream finally gets satisfied with my grandfather's answer and says to him, come to me. As my grandfather walked toward the person in the dream, the dream ended and my grandfather woke up. He thought the dream was unusual and decided to write it down on a piece of paper. He did that and put the letter on his personal altar where he performs his daily rituals. Later that day, my grandfather went on to his usual prayer meeting where he was to address a crowd and preach. He was called on to the stage where he had to climb a flight of stairs. So he did that, took the podium and as usual, started his prayer before he began the preaching from the Bhagavad Gita. I believe that was the end of my grandfather. He passed away while in his prayer and surprisingly, while in a standing position. This was the story we were told. Obviously, I was not there to witness all that firsthand as it happened in the 1970s. My grandfather was 55 years old when this happened. He was a proponent of the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita, a speech delivered by Krishna to Arjuna amid the war against his own cousins. So my grandfather was a philosopher and a social worker doing good deeds across the whole town. He was definitely a prominent personality in his town for his social activities. And as I said, he was not a believer and openly rejected the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, after he passed away, my aunt found his letter, read it, and concluded that God called him home. It was easy for her to conclude that way, given the personality that my grandfather had with his perceivably good works for the good of society in his perspective. So what do you think? Did my grandfather really see God in his dream? Please mention your thoughts in the comments below. I have already provided my answer in brief, but let me discuss it here again. I don't think my grandfather saw God because we know that God has no form and that he is a spirit. If my grandfather were a Christ follower, I might have believed that he could have seen Jesus Christ, the only begotten son of God. But as far as I know, my grandfather was not a born again believer. And if I'm not wrong, he also openly rejected the gospel of Jesus Christ multiple times when some of the missionaries approached him with the message of the gospel. My grandfather was a follower of Swami Vivekananda, who was one of the prominent proponents of the Advaita philosophy. So my grandfather believed in the principles of Advaita philosophy. Advaita philosophy states that the entire universe, including all living beings, is an expression of this one ultimate reality. And there is no fundamental separation between the individual soul and Brahman, the supreme soul as they call it. It also emphasizes the idea of self-realization or spiritual awakening, wherein an individual recognizes their true nature as identical to Brahman, transcending the illusion of individuality and duality. So according to this, the person that my grandfather saw in his dream was truly himself as he correctly identified in his second response. And in his third response, he progressed his answer and said, Parabrahma Swarupam. This is exactly what he personally believed in as well. So my conclusion is that subconscious minds trick unbelievers into believing something that is not true as we are all sinful beings originally lacking the knowledge of God. Or it could be that evil spirits disguise themselves as the angels of light and deceive people 
like my grandfather to believe in all these lies. Why? Because they don't want people to have the true knowledge of God. We will talk more about such spirits in the next video. Let us break here and continue my grandfather's dream interpretation when we come back. If you have enjoyed and learned something new from this video, I humbly request you to also watch other videos on this channel. I'm sure you'll be encouraged to support this channel by just subscribing to it. And please don't forget to share it with those who might benefit from these videos and be that spark that ignites a change in someone else's life. Together, let's create a community of knowledge and inspiration. God. Bless you.